Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. Here today to talk to you about the Yaesu FT8900. There's a little confusion on the hypermemory capabilities of that radio, and let's see what we can clear up here using the programmer and seeing exactly what's going on. I have the programmer here on the screen, and I have a picture of the radio. And I want to talk about the fact that you have a left and a right display. The left display will do 2 meters, 440, 6 meters, 10 meters. I think it does the 350s and the 800s also. The right side does only 2 meters and 440. This is design of the radio. So if you have the double display on, which you don't have to, you can have something else displayed on the right. The right side will only work your 2 meter and 440 frequencies or work your 2 meter and 440 VFOs. Hypermemories are accessed with these buttons around the face of the display. We've got six of them, three on each side. And we're going to talk a little bit about setting some things up so if you happen to accidentally bump one of these buttons, you won't think that all is lost because it's really not. It's just a matter of pushing another button and going back to where you had that configuration. We're going to talk about this set button right here. It's not labeled, but it is your set button and it gets you into your menus on this radio. That's a little about the radio. Let's close this because this picture is not a part of the program. This is the RT Systems program. Notice you have one bucket of memories. When you have one bucket of memories, they are displayed on both the left and the right side. Now, like I said, that radio only does 2 meters and 440 on the right, and it does all the bands on the left. So if I put in frequencies, If I put in a list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 will all be displayed on the left side and 1, 2, 5, 6, 7 will be displayed on the right side as you turn the knob and step through your memory channels. The radio will just skip over 3 and 4 on the right side because it's in its design. Limit memories. Limit memories are a scanning function. Then we have the hypermemories. Hypermemories are not more memory channels. It's kind of a strange term. There's been some confusion about it since the radios came out. They are a configuration for using these memories. So everything's based on the frequencies you put in your memory channels. The hypermemories are different configurations for using those memories. Notice not much is changing as I'm clicking across the bottom here. Let me go off on a side note here real quick. One other thing you need to know if you're using hypermemories. We're going to go to settings, radio menu settings, and this setting right here, hyper right. What this does is when set to manual, you have to push a series of keystrokes to resave a hypermemory configuration. With it set to auto, if you're in your hypermemory and you memory tune off of a channel or you change a VFO, that will be a permanent change when you leave and return to that hypermemory. It's set to manual by default when we program the radio. We recommend it because then you have control in what you program here and it won't change on you automatically when you just make a few little changes on the radio. Back to what's on this screen. The frequencies you see at the top are VFOs. VFOs are volatile memories because as soon as you turn the knob on the radio they change. Now in hypermemories there kind of is a one touch return to it 
you could go to hypermemory 2 and then come back to hypermemory 1 on the radio and it will return to the frequencies you have programmed in here as long as hyperwrite is set to manual. We've got 10 meters, 6 meters, 2 meters, 350 band, 440 band, and 850 band on the left and 2 meters and 440 on the right. They have everything about them that the memory channels have, so you know, feel free to use them here. You might want to set up your parade frequencies that you're going to use. Put them in hypermemory 6, and then once a year you just press hypermemory 6 and you're automatically on those frequencies. The most important thing is to set the radio to memory on both the left and right. Now, notice the left can be on memory, the right can be on VFO, home, or memory. So you can get a lot of use out of the left and right sides of the radio, having them do completely different things. They act fairly independent of each other. As far as the bump the button and not know where you are, what happens is you bump the button and you go from being in memory mode to all of a sudden being in VFO mode, and you think you've lost everything. All is not lost, it's just hiding in the background. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change all of these. So if I do bump a button, I'm at least still in memory mode. And since we had a reason for using hypermemory 6 in VFO, we're going to leave it in VFO. Let's go back to hypermemory 1. DTMF number, that is when you set up DTMF channels in your settings, your DTMF numbers, that's the one it's going to dial. So you could set it so that it's going to dial the first one here and the fifth one here, if that's what you wanted to do. Memory numbers, this is one of the best use of these hyper memories. If you use repeater on channel 5 and you listen to the repeater on channel 11 going to work, and you listen to the one on channel 500 and channel 300 coming home from work, why do all that knob turn into change to them? Let's just push hypermemory 1 in the morning and hypermemory 2 in the afternoon. The rest of the features that you can configure separately six different times, VFO, when you press that VFO button, this is the band that it will be in. Notice the right only has 2 meters and 440. Home return, if you're using your home channel, you'll either return to VFO or you'll, you'll return to memory when you leave that home channel. Auto repeater split can be turned off if you want to tune manually. Auto AM is for receive. VFO tracking is for satellite work. VFO band edge cycles back through the same band or steps to the next band. Menu number. This is what I was talking about with your set button. You can set it so that it automatically goes to the lock function and you can manipulate that in the menu. Your main can be right or left as you choose. Two packet settings and your sub display. It can be a CWID, a DCN, or you can just turn it off and have one display and one working channel on that radio. So like I said, this is a configuration of these memories. You can get some good use out of it. Do some sorting. Get it so you've got one touch access to things that you need the radio to do. And as far as knowing more details about what all of these do, Let's go to the help file up here. And we have programming memory channels, regular memory channels. This will tell you everything about what's on that memories tab. Anything in red is, a, is like a gotcha. It caught me when I was working with the radio writing the help file. And so I put it in red so maybe it won't get you. We have hyper memory programming. I have a whole section on it. I talk about the fact that the top are VFO memories, and then I describe what all of those 
bottom items do. So you can set it up, you can personalize your radio exactly as you want it and get the most use out of it. If you have questions, you are welcome to call. This is Karen, K0RTX. We'll catch you next time.